I, today I talk about breathing web-based board games only with Ruby. Um, my name is Yo, Yo Osaki. Uh, ID is Yo Chang. I'm from Japan. Uh, Japan is here, very so, <laughs> so far <laughs> from here. And uh, about 10 hours by airplane. So, well, and uh, I'm from asaksa.rb. Asaksa.rb is uh, regional community in Tokyo. And I'm from Ruby Kai. I had talked at Ruby Kai four times. And three of these were about Opal. Uh, Opal. Opal is a source code compiler from Ruby to JavaScript. You can create browser applications in Ruby. It's awesome. I have been developing some libraries and frameworks for creating browser applications with OPA. Uh, I've been doing activities to make Ruby available in various places. Development of the tools related to OPA is part of the, the activities. In addition, I'm also developing a deep learning framework for NLP in Ruby. Um, why do uh, why do I uh, these activities? Because I love Ruby. Thank you. And I would like to Ruby. Uh, I would like to Ruby to be used by more people. I want to write a fr uh, the front end of web and NLP using. Ruby instead of JavaScript or Python. <laughs> Remember 15 years ago, uh, Ruby was just one of scripting languages until 15 years ago. Ruby on Rails made Ruby into one of the best of uh, web programming languages. On the web, Front end is becoming more important, however. Today, I talk about creating web based board games. Also, it can be applied as other applications on the web. Uh, today's main topic is. Uh, these three things uh, at first, virtual DOM and second, uh, isomorphic programming and DLB on browser. It's, uh, uh, it's a way to use WebSocket. Uh, its possibilities is uh, easy to build dynamic UI using virtual DOM, and uh, it provides ease of development with database applications um, by transparency access. Um, you can use WebSocket with analogy of distributed object system. Uh, today, I talk about uh, uh, I'm uh, sorry. I have been developing a board game uh, that is uh, Shogi. Shogi is a chess like board game uh, which is traditional in Japan. One of the differences from chess is 
the pieces was reusable. Uh, Shogi rules is here. Okay. Um, this, this is published by uh, International Shogi Association. You can uh, see this on web. Uh, sorry. Uh, today's agenda is here. Uh, first, uh, I introduce about OPAF and uh, show you how to create an OPAF app. And then uh, virtual DOM and isomorphic programming and deal be on browser. And at last, I show you demonstration of Shogi. Uh, about OPAL. OPAL is source code compiler from Ruby to JavaScript. And you can create browser applications in Ruby. For example, this slide tool. This slide tool is created by GBA. Uh, GBA uh, is uh, tools for uh, uh, create slide, uh, slide tools uh, inspired Rabbit. Next, how to create an op uh, app. I provide CLI tool uh, named Silica. Silica is here. So I show you. Uh, uh, Silica can uh, be installed uh, by Ruby James. Uh, my local machine is installed. Uh, so uh, just command Silica new uh, sample app. Uh, create a sample app pro project is created. Sample app. Uh, created these files. And uh, boundary install. Sorry, <laughs> I know, I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, sorry, intro. Okay. And um, uh, this is using LAC, uh, LAC application. So bundle exec uh, LAC app. Oh. I got it. Uh, this application uh, source, source code is here. Oops. Uh, uh, this is virtual uh, DOM uh, render. Uh, Welcome. They're here. Okay. Uh, you can uh, get uh, scaffold uh, just one command. Okay. And Next, 
Bachelor. Bachelor has gained citizenship and uh, highlight his Bachelor implementation written in Ruby. Uh, this code used in highlight uh, just uh, including a component. Uh, and for example, this or modify this code. Uh, view, view component can be passed uh, property props um, uh, values uh, via props. This code uh, pass uh, uh, name to view component. So, um, load. Hi, John. <laughs> okay, I got it. Thank you. Okay. Next, isomorphic programming. Uh, isomorphic programming it mainly has the following two merits. Uh, one of these is server side rendering. Uh, it's for performance improving and for search engine optimization. And second is shared class definition. Uh, it's provide transparency access to the server side objects from client side. I have made, uh, I have been making a framework named ManyLight. ManyLight is an isomorphic web programming framework. Uh, it's focusing Shared model to provide transparency access. For example, uh, trans, uh, shared, uh, sharing class definition. Uh, the framework hides the communication between the client and server. Uh, sorry. Uh, you can never to consider JSON API, for example, uh, like this class definition. Uh, this is a user class, uh, has field name and password, and uh, you can uh, define action uh, for example, sign up. Sign up uh, is uh, called uh, on creating time. So uh, on create true uh, parameter. And uh, you can write code uh, only run in server this block. This class definition is uh, uh, can run on server side and client side. 
controller. Controller is uh, running on server side. Uh, can define action. Uh, for example, login. Login action uh, get parameters, username and password. And you can find user and uh, all authentication is passed uh, session. Um, in, uh, put into session user to user ID. And client code is here. Uh, just called uh, login method. And um, return value uh, get uh, asynchronous. Next, uh, DLB on browser. DLB is a distributed object system in Ruby. It's included in standard library. Here, okay. DLB is into, uh, included standard library. And uh, DLB is uh, usable uh, library, uh, very uh, Rubyish. So IDL, IDL is uh, interface definition language. IDL is not necessary for DLB. So you can. Uh, use convenient, easy to use DLB uh, as here. Okay, I show you. This is server side uh, array class object. Uh, you you can start service with this object, and client side. Just call a new uh, one method, new with URI, okay? Client object is a DRB object. This is a this object. can do uh, call method like array, for example, this one. Sorry. Two. 
Let's fuck it. Coding. Thing. Let's open this thing. Well, yes. Sorry. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. local food <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is too large <laughs> baguette. Why? Okay. Sorry, maybe uh, another process is running, so fail.
I got it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this is uh, Kryan's site. Uh, it's effect to uh, server side. Uh, initially, uh, this is, uh, is empty array, but uh, a client side object uh, put the into uh, array. So uh, uh, server side get same value. Uh, OK, <laughs> thank you. And so <laughs> easy to use the way. OK. Um, and then we can be customized protocol layer. I implemented WebSocket protocol. Uh, maybe uh, previous problem is uh, process learning uh, for WebSocket. <laughs> so uh, I confused. Uh, and I implemented WebSocket protocol for DLB and DLB implementation of OPAR, and uh, it's DLB WebSocket, a uh, DLB WebSocket, and OPAR DLB. Uh, I show you. Uh, Same as previous server. Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, Uh, difference is, is just uh, URL. Okay, start. This um, Here is demo. Got the map. He, uh, this uh, demo app is uh, put, put string to into array, uh, remote object. Uh, test, uh, this string uh, added. 
So you can uh, get on server side. Yeah. Okay. That it. Thank you. So um, this demo ap application uh, means uh, browser is communicating uh, server side via uh, web socket and uh, DLB. Uh, transparency access. Okay. And uh, I show you uh, demonstration uh, board game Shogi. But I <laughs> I stopped on Saba. <laughs> so Opal is uh, so uh, compiler. So uh, compiling uh, fa uh, fast time. Okay. Yes, shogi. Board <laughs> and uh, so uh, sorry, uh, I have problem uh, for bidirectional communication, so I can uh, be completed this application. But uh, you, uh, this can be. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, no, uh, no. Uh, opposite uh, player is no, uh, not uh, work. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Conclusion. Uh, Opera has power of changing sub web development. You can get virtual DOM, isomorphic programming, and DLB. There are many tools for modern web development. Uh, let's get it started. <laughs> Thank you.